There's not much. At least I, I, I don't see much. At least from where I, where I am, uh, because there's not much coming there because nobody's that interested, and that interest has to be created. And even if it's not, you know, if, uh, just looking at it from the I'm sure from Nigeria there's a lot of stuff coming out, but I've not seen it. I just know that Nigeria being what it is, I'm sure it's probably bringing out a lot of stuff. <laughs> But uh, I think uh, in, the, in the sense of the global marketplace, cultural marketplace, you don't see much. And of course, once you think of, there's also the other problem. When you think, when you think of a world, if, if sometimes people write because they would like to be accepted as part of the kind of in the New York Times or whatever. The danger there is that, of course, you write, you begin to write according to the needs or the expectations of the West. And this has happened to Indian writers a lot, right? Because what Indian, what Indian writers write in English is very different from what they write in, for example, in Hindi, you know. So those are things also one. You would like to portray Africa for being Af just Tanzania, for example, that is not what it is. You don't want to put elephants and the national park and you know some AIDS and you know which is easy to sell. You know? I mean, if you can get a novel with AIDS in it, I'm sure it will sell uh, there. But it's basically fits a stereotype. And, uh, that I don't know if that, that answers your question or not, but. Uh, the idea is to tell the stories about who we are and here. Of course, this again is a complicated question. Who we are depends on what we were. Of course, I mean, that's, in a sense, in a sense, that's my life, right? And I, I represent something and I wish to represent it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but it's, it's not not a burden as such. It's it's it's, it's what I am, and admitting what I am. Well, I, I think what I feel is that, of course, I don't want to misrepresent it for the sake of uh, for the sake of uh, being fashionable. But also, yeah, there is that, you don't want to rep represent it just by putting in all the cliches about Africa that, that I expected of it. And that, it's not a burden, it's, for, it's being honest. Yeah. It's being dishonest if I think this is what they expect. Let me put a person dying of AIDS. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I see. 